Hello, in this video I'm going to talk to you about the uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction of substituted benzenes. We're going to focus on the regiochemical outcome of reactions using uh, benzene substituted with activators that are electron donating. Um, and I'm going to use phenol for the entirety of this video, but all activators have this same behavior. And I'm going to you only talk about generic electrophiles because all electrophiles will have the same act, uh, outcome with activators. So in the reaction of phenol with an electrophile, there are actually three possible regiochemical outcomes, ortho, meta, and para. And you can see from my heading up here that I've already indicated that activators are ortho and para directing. Uh, so what does that mean? Uh, and how can we how can we, we understand where such behavior comes from? Well, one way that we can look at it is it's this way. Uh, in a previous video, uh, I drew these resonance structures for phenol, showing how phenol is electron donating by resonance, uh, and that it ends up with a formal negative charge on ortho, para, and the other ortho. And we could choose to represent this uh, resonance situation by the following resonance hybrid with partial negative charges. So what we have here is an increase of electron density at ortho and para. Right, so that gives us one way of understanding why ortho and para are preferred in this case. Uh, I want to look at another way. And I've already pre-drawn some of these resonance structures because there's going to be a lot of them. And so I don't want to consume my entire video drawing all these structures. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the, the intermediates that form by each of the three possible, uh, sorry, by attack at each of the three possible positions. And I'm going to need to drag this down a little bit because I know what I'm going to try to do. Okay. We're going to start with ortho. If we get electrophilic attack at ortho, we generate this carbocation intermediate, which has several resonance structures. And I'm only drawing those resonance structures would have, have it move around the ring at this given point in time. Uh, and so you can see that that positive charge is ortho, para, and ortho to where the electrophile ended up. And just one of those positions happens to be right next to the electron withdrawing group. And so there's an additional resonance structure that we can draw uh, for that ortho position. Let me move things down just a little bit more. So I want to squeeze in. I'm going to squeeze in this other resonance structure. I don't, I don't know that I care about this arrow. All right. And this additional resonance structure means that this intermediate leading to ortho substitution is stabilized additionally by the electron donating group. In the meta case, we can draw happened here. Let me, let, me, let me recreate my para. I have no idea what, what, what happened there. Uh, in the meta case, we have three resonance structures as well. And they also have the positive charge showing up ortho, para, and ortho to where the electrophile ends up. But positive charge is never next to the uh, electron donating group. So this intermediate is not stabilized. Okay. The ortho intermediate is stabilized. Meta intermediate is not stabilized. You can probably guess what's coming. When we look at the intermediates in the para case, uh, again, we get positive charge ortho, para, and ortho. And one of those intermediates 
has an additional resonance structure. One of those resonance structures has an additional resonance contributor. I'm going to have to hide it down here a little bit. Uh, where it's being further stabilized by the electron donating group. And so again, we have an intermediate, in, intermediate that is additionally stabilized by the electron donating group. And it's very important to note that it does not matter which electron donating group you have, whether it's or it's OH or alkyl or whatever, and it does not matter which electrophile it is. Well, the combination of an aromatic ring with an electrophile on it, or with an electron donating group on it, reacting with any electrophile, it's going to prefer ortho and para over meta. In the next video, I'm going to talk about uh, the deactivators. And most deactivators prefer meta. And then we'll talk about the halogens, which are weird. And I'll wrap up with some concluding thoughts uh, on these particular issues. Thank you for watching.